Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious New Orleans style praline popcorn from scratch. Now, this recipe combines the popcorn with the New Orleans pecan candy. Now, we first start off with mushroom popcorn kernels. We're going to take that and we're going to pop that using a hand crank manual popcorn maker. Now, once the popcorn is popped, we transfer it into an airtight container. That's going to keep the popcorn nice, fresh, and crispy. In the meantime, we're going to make some pecan candy. In New Orleans, we say pecan candy. And once the pecan candy is made, we add the popcorn into the pecan candy and we're going to coat that popcorn with that delicious and creamy pecan candy. Pecan candy. And after that, we place it onto a baking sheet. We add it into a preheated 350 degree oven for about five to six minutes. We take it out. We add it back into an airtight container so that way the popcorn can become nice, flavorful, and crispy. And the result, delicious and crunchy and crispy praline popcorn. Yes! This recipe calls for about two servings, but you can make it for yourself. And you can also double the recipe if you want to serve more people. It's perfect for any time of the year, especially during the holidays like Christmas. It's crispy, flavorful, has lots of pecans in it. Absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all you'll need to make your homemade praline popcorn. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need some mushroom popcorn kernels. Now when this popcorn pops, it expands like a mushroom and it's perfect for like sauces, like if you were making caramel popcorn or praline popcorn, which we're gonna be making for this recipe. Now this is not to be confused for the gourmet butterfly popping corn, as you see here. And this is a presentation of how it looks here. Now this is only good for like if you're just making a regular butter flavored popcorn or even kettle corn. So you don't want to use this, all right? And along with that, you're going to need some popcorn oil. Now this is a buttered flavored oil right here. You can use any other type of oil that has a high smoke point such as vegetable or canola oil. You will also need some evaporated milk, sugar, salt, unsalted butter, vanilla extract, chopped pecans, and a whirly pop. Now this is a manual hand crank six quart popcorn maker, as you see here. So you're gonna need that. And you can also use any other type of popcorn machine such as an air popcorn maker or even the traditional kind. And you will also need an airtight container. Now this is one of the most important things to have because this is gonna play a role in your popcorn staying fresh and crispy. And for the rest of your tools, you will need an 11 by 17 inch baking pan. And there we have it. Now make sure before you start popping your popcorn, make sure you have your, uh, your airtight container with a lid ready to go. All right, let's get started with making our popcorn. So before we begin, I got a couple instructions for you. Okay, so first things first, make sure your fire is not preheated on your stove. I'm gonna let you know when to do that. And two, if you're using a different popcorn maker, other than this one, whether if it's the air version of popcorn maker or even the traditional version, you want to make sure that you follow the instructions on how to pop the popcorn based on your uh, manual and model. OK. All right. First, we're going to add one tablespoon of popcorn oil. You could use any other type of uh, oil with a high smoke point like vegetable or canola oil. There's different many type of oils on the market. so. Use whichever one that works for you. And to that, I'm going to add one fourth cup of the mushroom popcorn kernels. Remember, don't use the gourmet popcorn, all right? Only mushroom. All right, now this is the lid right here. As you can see, there's, uh, there's clips on the lid. There's a clip here, a clip here. And this is another clip here. So how you want to put this on here is you want to start from the back right here. You just make sure that just tamp the uh, lid and just make sure that the clip fits onto the edge right here and from there this is the other clip and the other clip over here is in place 
So one thing you do is you just take this clip and just push down on it and it will snap in place. And this is how the inside looks here. And when I turn this crank here, this moves. Simple, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Preach your fire to medium high heat. All right, now I'm gonna hold on to the um, handle like this and I'm just going to crank this slowly. Now it's gonna take about two to three minutes for the popcorn to start popping. And after the popcorn finishes popping, we're gonna turn our fire off as quickly as possible, all right? And then we're gonna transfer it to our airtight container. So we're gonna turn the crank slowly. All right, all done. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. All right, so we're gonna quickly lift this up so that way the steam can escape. And that's how our popcorn looks right there. So you let the steam escape for a few seconds. And from there, you're gonna take your popcorn and you're gonna quickly add it into the airtight container. Now we're gonna go ahead and cover this. Make sure it has an airtight seal. All right, here we have an 11 by 17 inch baking pan. I'm just gonna add about a half to one teaspoon of the popcorn oil right on top of there. And from them, just take my hand, I'm just gonna spread that around to create a non-stick surface so that we when finish coating our popcorn, we're gonna add it onto this and we're gonna place it into the oven as quickly as possible. Preach your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with our praline candy mixture. So in this medium sized pot, I'm gonna add 3 4 cup of evaporated milk, 3 4 cup of sugar, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a half a cup of chopped pecans, and one fourth heaping teaspoon of salt. Well, make sure you add enough salt in there. Now I'm gonna take my wooden spatula and I'm just gonna stir all the ingredients together. Now you're going to stir this continuously for about 8 to 10 minutes. Now keep in mind that cooking times vary depending on your pot and your stove. Now I'm going to continue to stir this until it reaches a volcanic simmering pattern. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. Alright y'all, it's been about 6 minutes now. And as you can see, our pecan candy has cooked up and now it's cooked down. And this is the simmering pattern that I'm talking about here as you can see. It looks like little bitty volcanoes kind of erupting, so to speak. That's the pattern that you're looking for. Now, just because it's like this does not mean that it's done. All right, so we're going to have to continue to stir this for a few minutes longer. And you want to continue to stir it. Don't stop stirring. Just stir, stir, stir. And I'm going to let you know the cooking time once it's finished. All right, it's been about eight to 10 minutes now and I let my mixture go for about a full 10 minutes. And again, you wanna keep in mind that cooking times vary. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees. All right, next I'm gonna add my popcorn right on there. And I'm gonna just go ahead and just carefully stir this. Now you want to stir this until that uh, praline candy has coated the popcorn. Make sure your fire is turned off because you don't want to burn it. All right, y'all, that looks good. Now you're going to take your praline popcorn mixture and you're just going to add it into your greased 11 by 17 inch bacon pan. Now you're just going to Spread this around as evenly as possible with your spatula. And don't worry about the popcorn sticking together. It, I mean, it's gonna automatically separate now and during the baking process. So don't worry about that. Now it is ready to be baked. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place this into a preheated 350 degree oven on the middle rack. 
and I'm going to bake this for five minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes now. Now we're going to go ahead and remove our popcorn out of the oven. Now you're going to let this cool off for about one minute. All right, now remember our airtight container that I told you to reserve. Now we're going to take our popcorn and we're just going to add it back into this airtight container very carefully. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover this. And we're going to let the popcorn sit in this airtight container until it cools completely. After that, it's ready to be served. Now for some quick tips, you want to make sure that you keep your popcorn stored in an airtight container with a lid or in a sealable plastic bag. And you want to store it at room temperature. All right. Now I don't want you to put it in a refrigerator or anything because I think that if you put it in a refrigerator, you're going to, uh, the popcorn is going to lose its uh, crispiness. And from there, you can just eat it at any time. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, New Orleans Praline Popcorn, made by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for this delicious homemade New Orleans style praline popcorn. You can go to www.charliethecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can we? Ah! Now it's time to go eat and take a bite. I have my popcorn in this tub where let me take this off. Man, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Right. Mm. If you didn't hear that, the popcorn is nice. It's nice and crunchy and crispy. It has a nice little slight crunch on the outside. Nice crispy on the inside with the popcorn. Y'all, this is absolutely delicious. It's like caramel popcorn, but it's praline. I mean, y'all, it is so good. So, give the recipe a try. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.